convergence is the future of computing. So we've reshaped Ubuntu to combine the mobility of a smartphone and the power of a desktop on a single device. We unveiled Ubuntu for Phones at Mobile World Congress in February, and CNET declared it their best of show. Operators loved the design, and some of the world's largest have now joined our advisory group. We also gained the support of key silicon vendors to the mobile industry. So now, finally, we're talking to the companies who actually make phones, with the goal that Ubuntu will arrive on mid- and high-end devices in 2014, right on schedule. Along the way, we learned something really interesting. We learned that new mobile technologies get proven in the lab, but then hit a production roadblock, because manufacturers don't want to select a new technology for a device that's supposed to sell 10 or 50 million units until they know it can be produced at that scale. Now in the motor car industry, we have Formula One to test new technology. But the mobile industry has nothing like that. There's no premium segment for expert drivers. It's like everyone is driving mass-produced sedans. We don't have a consumer testbed for cutting-edge technologies, but we do have a new mechanism for driving innovation, crowdfunding. Since the Ubuntu vision of convergence for the phone and the PC will push the limits of mobile computing, and since we're working with industry already, and since millions of you are passionate about the latest and greatest phone technology, software and hardware, we're in a perfect position together to change the way innovation comes to the mobile industry. So, we've explored every aspect of the phone, spoken to companies that have interesting next generation technologies, and drawn up the blueprints for a concept device that brings together the most exciting innovations that are real, but still on the horizon. We call it the Ubuntu Edge. Beautiful, inside and out. The body will be crafted from a single piece of textured metal, making it really solid in your hand. It will have precisely chamfered edges for the optimal grip and perfect control of the edge gestures that are central to the Ubuntu mobile experience. The display is the window into your content. The phone industry today is a bit like the camera industry five years ago, stuck in a megapixel race, chasing wasted resolution. What's much more interesting is color accuracy and brightness. So we'll select the panel with the best combination of resolution, dynamic range, and color accuracy. The size of that screen has to be just right for edge gestures to give you total control in one hand. Based on our testing with prototypes, a 4.5-inch screen is the perfect size. And to protect the display, we'll replace glass with sapphire crystal, a material so hard you'll need diamonds in your pocket to leave a scratch. The same goes for the camera, because phone cameras are used for personal shots without stage lighting, so we'd like to optimize for low light, fast response, and up-close pictures rather than just megapixels. If you're like us, you travel a lot and you love bandwidth. Today's phones fall back to slower, older protocols when they roam, but future phones would have access to LTE everywhere. So we'll raise the bar with dual LTE antennas for full-speed 4G in both Europe and the USA. Convergence is the key idea we're exploring, so this phone needs to be a potent little PC when docked. We'll select the very latest, fastest, multi-core processor as we finalize the design, along with at least four gig of RAM and a massive 128 gig of storage. It's going to redefine PC portability. Finally, one of the key areas of innovation today is the battery. We've selected silicon anode technology as the most promising candidate for extended life and power density. This project is all about cutting edge hardware, but being Ubuntu, we can push the limits on software too. As well as Ubuntu, you'll be able to boot Android. So you can keep using your existing app collection and experience full convergence right away with Ubuntu for Android. Now, we're not trying to get into the phone business. We're working with phone companies for your normal mid and high end phones. This project is just for us, the real enthusiasts. That's why a crowdfunding approach is perfect. If there are enough of us interested in pushing the limits of the phone, then it will happen. The Ubuntu Edge will be a limited edition production run available only to supporters of this campaign. If it works well, we might even do it annually, just to keep ahead of the curve. 
If you're like us, you're a little impatient to experience the future. You like to try every new device just to see how they're improving. And with this project, for the first time, you will have the ability to try the most exciting technologies long before everyone else. To make it happen, we'll have to smash every record in crowdfunding history. It's a crazy, beautiful idea. But if there are enough of us out there, enough enthusiasts who want the ultimate in performance, storage, screen, battery, and bandwidth, then the Ubuntu Edge will be the catalyst for awesome innovation and a taste of the future of the phone.